What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John City 4 and today I'm here to bring you guys a quick review on Mafia 3. And by the way, what do I mean by quick review? It's just, it's just gonna be like a quick, you know, thing about the positive things and the negative things about this game. I will not go into specific about the stories or give you guys any kind of spoiler in the story because I want you guys to enjoy the game at the same time. So anyways, the positive things about this game has to be the story, the character development, and the soundtrack. The soundtrack is pretty much smooth. I don't mind you know, listening to classic music. It's alright you know, for the era, so it's going to make you like immerse into the world a little bit more. Uh, the character development is pretty much impressive. You get to know every single character out there that you face in the missions. Like, uh, okay, you kill this guy because, you know, he did this, this, and this. And then you're like, whoa, you know, why the fuck is he here? You know, it's really interesting. And also you get to know Clay more better. You get to know what he's fighting for. You get to know his background. Uh, also the other mob bosses you're going to be recruiting a lot of the way. It's going to be very interesting to play through. Uh, another thing is the story. The story just gets better along the way, guys. I'm not. I don't want to spoil it all, but I'm, all I'm just gonna say is, just play the story, man. It just goes into very good details. Another thing, the environment presents you with the greatest discriminatory game of all time. Like you go into a bar, and then the freaking bartender kicks you out because there's a sign outside that says "No blacks allowed" or "Only whites" or whatever. And that's how it is most of the bars here in this game. Like it's New Orleans, goddammit. How come I'm not a, you know allowed to go inside? Like what the fuck? So this is how it was back in the day, people. Like it's it was really discriminatory back in the day. And I'm glad they brought this into this game so it can go more with the era and there's no like no limits about this game So that's good. Also the Ku Klux Klan appear in this game. So Yeah, it gets very intense in that one mission man So there's a lot of things you can expect from this game that's gonna surprise you man So now moving on to the negative parts about this game There are a lot of bugs and glitches a lot of things that are really gonna like take you away from this world And you're gonna be like why am I even playing this fucking game? So if you guys have noticed in the, in the gameplay in the background, there's, uh, there's always some few bullets and glitches going on. Also, some things that really piss me off. The combat system has to be one of the worst things about this game. You just punch somebody or you just trip somebody and they die. I'm like, really? Am I a god in this game? What am I? <laughs> what am I just to punch somebody in the gut and for them just to fall down on the floor? Like, really? Not even GTA 4, GTA 5, or any of the GTAs allow you to kill anybody with one punch. Yes, there. I know there's an anime called One Punch, but come on, man. Even freaking Captain Kirk had more of an action compared to this game. Like, come on, man. He got more action compared to this goddamn game that I'm getting from. So, there's no combat system that's pretty good. I prefer to play, like, freaking Metal Gear, who has more of a CQC going on over there, that, you know, enemy do fight back. Another thing that pissed me off about this game has to be the goddamn AI. It's too easy to kill them all. Like, for example, if you get chased by a cop, they're not going to chase you for very long. They're just going to get stuck somewhere and they're going to stop chasing you and get away pretty much easily. You kill somebody in front of a cop, they don't even do nothing. You should have seen that in the beginning of the video too. Uh, there were some moments where I just killed a woman and they, they didn't do anything. I just pushed her down to the floor and she died and the cops didn't do shit. Another moment had to be when I stole the cashier. Like, the pedestrians didn't even react. Nobody reacts in this freaking game. I'm like, this thing's raw all over again. So... I don't know man, I hate the AI, I hate that there's no challenge in this game, the shooting is pretty much generic, you know, I have the same thing with the Division, the Division has more impact compared to this goddamn game, and there's no freaking cars by the way. So there are there are a lot of problems with this game another thing is the weather system all of a sudden it's sunny as hell and then it'll turn super dark and it's raining and i'm not even sure what time it is do you guys don't even know what time it is in this freaking game i'm not even sure because there's no freaking clock on the goddamn freaking you know hud view what time is it i don't even know another thing the map in the bottom right corner i'm thinking like is this fucking gta is this fucking gta if i do remember correctly the maps back in the day were like kind of like immersive with the era you know it had this like old kind of like crescent you know kind of engraved you know map it was it looks super nice to be honest but this one is just a square with two bars i'm like what the fuck is this so there are a lot of problems with this game as you can see there's a bug in the fucking bag and 
there it's just it's just ridiculous man how can they release a game like this i wasted 60 bucks on this shit i'm gonna sell it back on facebook for 50 bucks and hopefully i can get my cash back for battlefield one and look at the freaking weather there it goes again it, go, it goes from super sunny to super dark so that is it guys that's my quick review about this game there are a lot of problems i do not recommend the game right now make sure to buy it when it's like around 30 bucks or something because this cannot be real man this cannot be true about this game i expect that a lot because i played mafia one and it was super fun to play there was a lot more details in that game and that game came out back in 2002 or even earlier so that is it make sure you subscribe for more you guys want to see more gameplay about mafia 3 if there's any kind of, is there's going to be more about that or Battlefield 1 is around the corner guys. I'll be uploading more of that too. So subscribe for more guys want to see more Battlefield 1 in the future